What is up, Internet? Welcome to episode 18 of a hodgepodge of information. Stuff you might want to know, but you probably don't. Uh, now, some of you have probably watched my other two videos about Sling TV. I wanted to wrap this one up uh, after spending a little over a month and a half uh, with the product. I can safely say I don't recommend uh, this product uh, like at all. Um, if you want to try it and give, see if your experience is any different than mine, I say go for it. Uh, but I would not not pay for it. Uh, out of pocket right now. Uh, I think they've still got some technical issues to work out. I think they've still got some infrastructure to build out. And I still think they're faced with the problem that they're not going to be able to take over TV uh, when they're still depending upon the traditional cable companies uh, to deliver their content over the uh, over the cable internet that they provide. And so, unfortunately, uh, as much as I'd love to support this 100%, as much as I'd love to be like, this is this is the gold standard, everyone just watch this, buy this, support this, I can't. Um, it had too many technical problems for me. Uh, the channel selection was actually really good. I think $20 is a great value. Uh, the cross-platform compatibility, they have an app for everything, I think is really good. Uh, the lack of DVR, I think, is a big negative for a lot of folks. Uh, it was a big negative for me. Uh, and the fact that you can kind of build out a, a larger package with these $5 bonus packages, great idea. Um, but personally, for me, it wasn't worth it. I didn't watch it. It was too big of a hassle to get up and running. I'd rather just turn on regular television or watch Netflix. If they could ever get to a point where they were functioning as seamlessly as Netflix is, I'd be a customer all day long. But sadly, that wasn't my experience on any of the platforms, any of the connection points, any of the locations that I tried to use this on. It just wasn't cutting it for me. And so sadly, I cannot support this product. Uh, I would encourage you to take a free trial of it, see what you think, see if you agree, and if it works for you, great. And so I think that's the best part about uh, the situation is uh, that there is choice and that while Sling doesn't work for me, um, it could work for someone else. And so uh, I encourage you to check it out, uh, but don't pay for it without trying it. It's, it's still got some issues and uh, definitely is not a uh, works for everyone proposition. And so... Uh, with that, I will say, I am guess I'm still going to be a Comcast subscriber for a little while until someone else figures out a way to, uh, to get around uh, needing a cable subscription. Um, but for the time being, I don't think Slink TV is it. But thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the other previous videos. Um, I appreciate you all commenting and uh, kind of giving your input and trying to help me figure out what's wrong with my experience. But... Um, Nothing else was having trouble. Uh, Hulu, Netflix, games, pings were fine. Network stability was fine. Uh, packet loss was fine. I wasn't losing anything. And so uh, the only thing I can conclude is that the problem is sling and not anything else. So uh, appreciate it. Let me know what you think. If you got a great experience with the product, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, and hope that maybe it's maybe it's my region, maybe the uh, maybe the backhaul provider in my area has uh, got some issues with uh, Sling TV compatibility or something. I don't know. Could very well be the case, but let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching episode 18. Hodgepodge of information. Share it. Bye.